Welcome back. In the last video, you defined the problem, or maybe even a few problems, that you want to solve for the Do Your Bit Challenge. Remember how I said earlier that you don't need to think of a solution just yet? Well, that's what this video is all about. Ideation is the process of coming up with ideas to solve the problem you defined. This is where brainstorming comes in. So, how do you brainstorm? You'll want post-it notes or some sheets of paper. You can also use your design notebook, but if you're working in a group, you might find it easier to have loose sheets of paper that you can move around. And you can always glue or tape them into your notebook later. On each sheet of paper, you'll draw and write out an idea. You can see that I haven't thought all the details through. I haven't even thought about whether or not my idea would actually work, and that's okay. The fun part about brainstorming is there's no such thing as a bad idea. My crazy idea might spark your imagination, and then you'll think of a different idea. It's a way to get your brain thinking. I'll demonstrate with a brainstorm using my example from the last video. It's a problem that people break into the user's room to eat all her chocolate. There's a few rules though. First, withhold judgment. Basically, that means don't tell someone else you think their idea is bad or won't work. When you're brainstorming, the point isn't to come up with the ultimate perfect idea. It's more of a brain dump. Get all your ideas out there, even the really crazy ones. You can narrow them down later. Second, build on each other's ideas. You might even combine a few into an entirely new idea. Third, stay focused on the problem you're trying to solve. Fourth, pictures are good. You don't have to be an amazing artist. Just drawing will help you visualize your idea. And last, quantity. Don't stop at your first idea. You'd be surprised. You might think you only have one or two ideas, but once you get started, you'll find that one idea can lead to another idea, which can lead to another idea. All right, here we go. Now it's your turn. In a moment, I'll ask you to pause to do your own brainstorm. You can do this activity on your own or in a group. Choose one of the problems related to the global goals that you defined in the last video. Take the next five minutes or so to brainstorm as many ideas as you can think of. If you're working in a group after you finish drawing an idea, put it where everyone else can see it because your idea might inspire someone else. All right, you can pause now. Hopefully you've come up with a whole pile of ideas now. So where do you go from there? You're actually going to do another round of brainstorming, but this one's a little different. First, see if you've got any similar ideas. Can you combine them, build off them? Let's look at my brainstorm here. I'm going to group together categories of ideas like using booby traps or hiding the chocolate. Now I'm going to do another round of brainstorming and build off those ideas. All right, your turn. So now you have even more ideas. Hopefully you're swimming in post-it notes by now. But the goal of the competition isn't to have five gajillion ideas. It's to submit one. So for this last activity, you're going to narrow down to the ideas you want to make. How do you decide which ideas to keep and which to get rid of? Some of them might be obvious which to get rid of. They might be unrealistic, impossible, too dangerous, or a bit too crazy. Some might be fine, but they might be too expensive, take too long, not actually address the problem, or you're just not as excited about them. Now I've got just a few ideas left, and I might really like all of them. So now what? Well, now I get to actually make them, and in the process of making them, I'll learn more about them, and that'll help me narrow down and improve my ideas even more. So let's get on with prototyping in the next video. Oh, oh, oh.